John Bradshaw. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am so happy <clears throat> to be back in Denver. I feel a great, uh, a great deal of love here, and uh, it's really wonderful. And I appreciate you coming out tonight. I, I want to tell you how much I appreciate Stephen Halpern, who has been a great inspiration in my life. I've got every, everything that he's done that I know of on, uh, on tape, and I've used uh, Spectrum Suite and Zodiac Suite and Starborn Suite. Uh, one of the greatest experiences of my life was coming down Breckenridge, Breckenridge Mountain, the, the green slopes, uh, playing uh, Starborn Suite. And you weren't supposed to do that, but I didn't know that till they caught me. But uh, it was just really wonderful. And uh, Stephen and I had a great talk today, and uh, I think that what he does is going to be so important in the years that are coming for the adult children movement because uh, he really witnesses to the power of finding an inner life. And uh, what, you know, Bobby was describing just now and what any of us from, an, uh, from a dysfunctional family know is that we had no inner life. We could not have an inner life. Uh, you're too busy adapting to the stress that's going on to be able to know to look at those internal cues of what you feel or what you need or what you want. So it's, it's real important, I think, that uh, we have Stephen Halpern here tonight in this kind of happening, this celebration that we've come together with. And I'm very grateful for, to Stephen for being here. So I want you to think now for a second, if you just kind of get comfortable and, and let me take you on a, on a little light meditation. Just start off maybe by focusing on something, something out here in this space, some spot in the rocks maybe, or on the stage, and just let your conscious mind focus on that. And just for now, there's no place you have to go. There's nothing you have to do. There's no face you have to prepare to meet the faces that you meet. There's no game you have to play. You can just be here now. You can just let yourself become part of this great space we're in, sitting next to brothers and sisters. And we're all here together to celebrate our own personal journeys of truth, our own quest for happiness and bliss in the good life. And, and as you're looking at whatever you're looking at, just remember that long ago when you were children in school, you learned to make mental images. Teacher put numbers on the board and it seemed so difficult at first. A three and a six and a nine and then a 1 and a 0 and a 10 and an 11 and a 12 and somehow in order to know that you had to make a mental image of every 3 and compare that with a mental image of a 6 and a 9 and a 12. Now you do that without even thinking. So if you just close your eyes and keep seeing the image of what you were staring at in your mind's eye now you don't have to speak. You can keep looking at that image and let your ears be open to hearing what I'm saying, to any other sounds that may interest you in this environment. And just for a few minutes, if you just focus on your breathing, is what it's like in your body to breathe what happens in your body when you breathe. And notice the air as it comes in and as it goes out. And be aware of the difference in the air as it comes in and as it goes out.
And as you breathe in and out, just let that air come up into your forehead. You feel any tension there, just, just let it go. Breathe it out. And then breathe in around your eyes and your eyelids. Just breathe out that tension. And just let your eyes close tightly and roll your eyes back and just feel them lock into place so you can have this revelry, this light trance. And then let them relax, let your eyes relax. And breathe into your jaws and around your mouth where we hold so much tension. We hold back our feelings. And breathe that out. And then breathe down into your neck and shoulders. And breathe out any tension there. And then all the way down through your body, through your arms, and down through your chest. Nice deep breath. Just breathing it out, letting go, letting go, letting go just as much as it's appropriate for you to let go and holding on, since you can't hold on without letting go or let go without holding on. And just allow your whole body to relax, let that warm kind of feeling of relaxation spread down into your hips and knees down down into your thighs and down into your calves and down into your feet and just for now just let it go just let it go and be here now and just for now listen to the music As you listen to that music, imagine that you've gotten up and you've begun to walk off down a mountain path. And you're all alone, feeling good and warm inside. You're just walking along, feeling the earth as you walk, seeing what you see, hearing what you hear. Smelling whatever you smell. And just imagine that up ahead of you, you begin to see somebody in the clearing. A clearing. And it's, it's somebody that's been very important to you in your life. It's somebody that was influential in transforming your life. It may have been an aunt or an uncle or a parent or a, the person that got you into a recovery group. Just let that person come to you. And just be aware of that person, what they look like. Maybe hear their voice, what they sound like. what your life might have been like if that person hadn't been there. And just feel that sense of gratitude that that person was there for you at that time and that place in your life. Let that person be joined by someone else maybe someone else that was important to you 
someone that is important to you now. People that represent the healing relationships could be a teacher, sponsor, a friend. Could be somebody whose book you read and you don't even know, who will never know how much they've meant to you. Just imagine yourself embracing those people. and recognizing the power of the, those people in your life. And maybe there's a letter you want to write or a phone call you want to make just to acknowledge, to tell them I love you, I appreciate you. You'll never know what you meant to me. Maybe you've already done that many times. But just let yourself tonight be aware of how important some person was in changing your life. And just give them all a nice love and a warmth and say goodbye and begin walking back down your path. And as you walk back, think of the words of Claudel who said, we are the condition of salvation, one for the other. That sometimes it's only through the being of one person coming into our life that our lives change. And that we have to remember that because we may be that person for someone else. That opportunity to say something, to share, to be honest, may be the occasion, the beginning, of a kind of salvation for someone else. And then just imagine you've come back to your place. You've come back to your place here. Another poet said, there's no one of our brothers or sisters we can do without. In the heart of the meanest miser, the most squalid prostitute, the most miserable drunkard, there is an indestructible center, an immortal soul with holy aspirations, which deprived of daylight worships in the night. We hear them speaking when we go down on our knees. We need them all. There's no one of them we can do without. very slowly just imagine you could look up and you could see the clouds form the number five and as you look at that number five you remember these people that have mirrored you and accepted you and loved you that you could come before with your shame and be seen and they still loved you and that's a model for us to do the same for others See the number four. Just let yourself feel your feet and your hands and feel the life coming up through your legs and your hips into your chest and your arms. And then see the number three. Feel the life coming up through your neck, up into your head, and you know you're coming back now to your place here. see the number two and just know that you're present now in just a moment very slowly when you open your eyes you'll be fully restored to your waking consciousness and now see the number one and as you see the number one just slowly open your eyes just slowly open your eyes and be present here be present here in that moment of reverie.